Hey YouTube, how's it going? Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow and Abby and I'd say Riley, but she's not in the room yet. I'm, I don't know where she is. We got a box from, I think his name was Rui. It'll be on screen over here. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm sorry if I just butchered it there. But he has a store on eBay, the link is in the description, where he is selling what is in this box. I haven't seen it in person yet, though I have seen. I know Thu had it, I can't remember if it's the exact same one. And Emgo bought one, um, but this has been, he sent this to me graciously, and I'm going to look at it. I was able to talk to him a bit, I know it's 3D printed, and I'm curious to see what his kind of printing is, because aside from Shapeways, I've never actually bought prints from someone else. Okay. So, yeah, and my uh, Riley's over there, and she's got a big glowy moon. Okay, cool. What? Well... It looks like it's printed in 0.3 millimeter height layer height. Wanna hold that? Sure, take it. We're going to build it. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Daddy, daddy, it's in the <laughs> It's off his blaster? How do you know that? I didn't tell you what it was. Did I? Did I tell you what it was? You just knew. Wow. My five year old is more versed than apparently I'm teaching you right. We're getting all these parts out. <laughs> You're having fun with the moon? One, the one. So this that is the is stand. The what is this? Well, we gotta get all these parts out. I mean, he certainly packed it well. Good grief. Oh, I know what this is. Ah! I'm dropping pieces. Oh, I'm going to build this one. I know where it goes. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> but I think it you think it's wrong? I think you got it right. And we had clips. This is the stands. Ah. Print is pretty good. You know what? I, I kind of like that print. That uh, seems strong and durable. I know on Emgo's, he said he pushed on it too hard and it cracked. Though I don't see how it could because I'm looking at his layer lines and I genuinely don't see why that would have happened on his. Maybe, maybe it's just a bad print. Maybe it warps too much, I don't know, but well, it fits together really well. This is the stand. It says one shall stand. It's the one shall stand stand. And then this is, I believe this goes over here for the handle, so we'll get that later. Oh. You want to hold this? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I love that. I love the rifling. You can see like the spiral rifling thing. <laughs> That's great. Oh man. I like there's no actual uh not yet. I don't think it does. We'll figure it out. Don't worry, Abby. How do these pieces go? We'll figure it out. So we're gonna, let's start with this over here. Okay, so you got it right. I'll hold it, you put it in. You don't know how? Well, goes like this. You really gotta put it in there, eh? That was one thing he, I was talking about with him, is he said he spent a few, I think it was weeks, just messing around with the tolerances of things until he got a thing that worked. You push it in. There you go. There. That works. I think this goes in here next. Let's see. That's the other thing. I think it's super cool. He got this all to friction fit on. Pretty sure that goes there. Yep. Yeah. Ready? Push hard. I'm gonna push on my hand. Let's push together. Oh. There we go. So that's not on there permanently. That's interesting. It just kind of friction fits on. But I mean, that's solid enough. That's pretty cool. That does. Do you want to put that on? Okay. Mm. You put that on. I think this um, piece goes on next. Does it? I'm going to do the top pieces and you're going to do the bottom pieces. That sounds like a plan, Abby. Oh, this is the handle first. That goes on here. Oh, yeah. And here's this. And here's this. There you go. This piece 
goes on here. I don't know where this, this goes. I don't know where that goes. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so it, it goes on, then you gotta twist it till it fits. Need help? No, this. Why are you? Oh, you know why? It's because you need these little pieces. These pieces go right there. And then they go like that. And they twist together. See? Just like that. Which is honestly like, considering how, like, I see the layer lines, it was printed like. Where does all this piece Let's see. Go. Oh, I see. It was printed like this. So the fact that he. Wow. No, no, okay, it was printed like that. So the fact that he was able to get like that little concave hollowness for all the tabs to go in and slot, that's really cool. There's garbage in here. Did you get that together? Let's see. Yeah, it fits. It fits? There's garbage in here. Got twisted together. It is garbage. There you go. Good job. So I think this piece goes on next, Abby. Yeah, that's it. Yep. There we go. It's funny seeing some of the layer lines because, like, th there's a bit of bridging right here, like right, right in there. It's uh, there, but like otherwise, it's super, super cool. Like as far as the print goes, it's it's really neat. Like you can tell, for instance, this was printed like that, just because it's really nice there and super solid on inside. It can't fit. It can't fit. Are you sure? Let's try right. Where do you think it go, Abby? Right there. Well, I was going to let Riley do it. So you told Riley where it is, and Riley's going to do it. So, yeah. Can I do it? Yep. There you go. Good job. Okay, Abby, your turn. So like, the only criticism I have for this is, here it is, it's finished. And that's honestly, like, super, super cool, just holding it. The only criticism I have is, like, this magazine just sort of falls. <laughs> I mean, I could, I, I, obviously, I'm going to super glue it, but, I don't know, see, it just falls, I mean, it locks in there good enough, I guess, and I'm sure if I put some super glue, it'll really lock in, but, that being said, it's done, you want to hold it, oh, it doesn't go together, see, this goes right here, and this, Goes right Ooh, here. Yeah. There's the handle. <laughs> are you Abigailus Prime? No. Who are you? Just Abby? Are you Abby Prime? Am I Daddy Prime? Daddy Prime. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, cool. Very very cool. I'm just kind of. I don't know what to think. This is just a lot of holding a life-size Optimus Prime thing rifle. You know, one thing I like is that because all the layer lines are in the same direction, except for this part, obviously, is it makes this kind of nice texture the whole way around. And it, I think it looks really good. This is such a cool design. And... Honestly, not far off from the design I made for Earthrise Optimus. Like, it's really, really close. Do you know what this really reminds me of? There is a life-size version of this you can buy, but it's like $300, $400, or something like that. So to have this print you can buy for like a third the price, that is the exact same size. I think it's the exact same size anyway. The only, th like, the only thing is, if you're not a fan of print, like I know Engo was saying that, that, that wasn't what he was a fan of, you can absolutely sand this and paint it black or fill it or, you know, like... So of course my battery decided it was a good time to die as I was finishing up, so... So yeah, uh, thanks again to Rui, or Rui, R-U-I, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, it's up here. Um, again, the, the link to the eBay page where you can buy your own, if you're interested, you don't have to. Um, but if you want one of these, this is where to find it, and... Yeah, thanks for all for watching. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow.